Hello fellow Euxters, this is Randy Clark with Lollipop Music. Uh, Lollipop Music is located in Princeton, West Virginia. And today I'm going to be doing a strumming workshop. Although I'm using a ukulele and this is for the ukulele club. Um, the same principles apply to guitar and uh, you could even use it on mandolin and a few other stringed instruments. Um, same principles apply basically but uh, anyways today is a, a basic strumming workshop so the first drum I'm going to cover today and by the way we do have a, a sheet that has it's a strum chart that you can download the PDF file from Lollipop Music's Facebook but the first drum, just a simple basic drum. And before I start that, let me uh, show you this graph here, this chart. One and two and three and four and. If we had the uh, steady beat going, the beat would be the numbered count. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four. Now when I'm strumming, down and up on my strings, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. When I'm strumming down, it's going to be on the numbered counts. Anytime I do a downward strum, it's on a numbered count. If I'm strumming up, that's on the and, and that would be on these in between the counts. So the one and two and three and four and. Okay. Uh, so keep that in mind because that's important as we go along here. So the first drum, just a basic for the beginner, especially if you're trying to sing. And uh, play at the same time. This is. This is the recommended starting point here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Down, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now I would recommend Kind of a dual purpose exercise doing a, a C chord so I'll do a C one two three four then an A minor one two three four an F one two three four and a G7 one two three one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now there's a good reason for doing those particular chords. Those chords uh, happen to be the, the same chord patterns for hundreds of songs. just like I don't know, you just look on YouTube there's a lot of songs that use those exact same chords and a lot of the a lot of the songs that we sing and play in our club use those chords as well so and it's a good easy change from the C chord to the A minor Keep that there and add that first finger on the second string first fret. There's my F. Keep that finger there. Bring this down one string and then put my third finger down on the first string. And there's a G7. So nice, smooth, easy chord changes. Okay, so that's the first strumming pattern. The next pattern that we're going to do. And 
actually for those that can read music, that first pattern would just be a whole note. A whole note, you play it and hold it all four beats. Now we're going to strum down on beats one and three, and these are like half notes for those of you that understand music a little bit. I'm going to do the same chord changes. I'll write it up here. C. A minor. F. And a G. Seven. Okay. Strum pattern number two is going to have the two down strums, one on beat one and one on beat three. These are going to be half notes. It'll go like this. One, two, three, four. And using the chord changes, C, A minor, F, G7, we'll do it this way. One, two, three, four. If you have a metronome, uh, I highly recommend you use it for practice. That just gives you that steady beat. Um, there's all kinds of metronomes. There's free metronome apps available for smartphones and um, iPads and e-readers and all those uh, little electronic devices. But uh, anyways, uh, if you can get a metronome get it if you have one use it because again it just gives you that steady timing beat for the one two three four okay so the next pattern we're gonna do These would be quarter notes. And this is strumming on each beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. These are all just down. pattern uh, we'll do what's called eighth notes if you notice this whole thing is a whole represents a whole note when we split it in half and had two notes they were half notes because we had split it in half now we've cut it into quarters we have four beats four notes quarters now we're gonna do eighths there's gonna be eighth eight strums in this whole measure okay and again we're strumming up on the ends and down on the counts so this would be like this one and two and three and four and one two and three and four and down up down up down up down up down up down up one and two and three and four and one and two and three 
Okay, those were eighth notes.